Hello, and welcome back to that one fishing channel with that guy who's not good at fishing. In today's episode, we go up to Idaho with some new friends. Hatch's mom Mia, Hatch's dad Alex, and Hatch. I met up with Alex and Mia so that I could get in their way while they tried to pack for their trip. I had never actually met Alex and Mia, so it was kind of awkward at first having them redo stuff a few times just for the camera. What, four, four guys in our two boats sitting there yeah. watching Mia pull fish after fish, guide boats going by, they're lapping up and down <laughs> this channel and, and um, man, just watching her put on a clinic. But hey, boat fishing is team fishing. I think that's yeah. why I probably row a lot. Yeah, because you, you hit your three fish rotation a lot faster than I do. That's true. I see how it is. Should be good, get on some big water, get on some small water. Wherever the bugs are at, right? Once we had all the gear packed, I headed up early to try and sneak in a little bit of fishing. I fished for an hour or two before the rain came and I switched out my rod for a camera so that I could film some birds and do a time lapse of the sunset. Hatch and the rest of the crew rolled into camp right around midnight and quickly set up so we could be on the water first thing in the morning. I'm gonna try it here like this. It's kind of like a squall pattern more so, but. say that first day of fishing was bad because it wasn't. It was a hard day with lots of wind and tons of rowing, maybe a fish or two. Mostly it was just hanging out with Hatch. A Ziploc bag of garbage might have been the biggest thing we pulled out of the water. So we were throwing a little chubby on top with a, a caddis pupa looking dropper below it. We got some caddis flying around, so we'll, we'll see if, we saw some risers up earlier, a little smaller guys, but they're coming up for some, some caddis. So put a little soft tackle caddis on and see if we can't find another pod. A fish rising for her or put it in some fishy looking spots and get a, get a fish. We didn't see another fish the rest of the day. We didn't even see a strike the rest of the day. Instead, Alex and Mia pushed through an hour or more of howling wind and frog water to get to the takeout, gave up on fishing, and played with bow and arrows instead. Later that night, however, we did get back on the water. We didn't have a boat with us, so when I initially filmed this, I didn't think we would ever use it for a Flycraft video. So I'm going to apologize now for the astronomical amount of slow-mo used in these shots. I had just gotten a new camera that supposedly does really well in low light, so I was geeking out a little bit, learning all the new buttons. Even though there were a ton of bugs out and landing on the water, we didn't see any fish rising for them. Maybe we were too late in the day after the sun had set, or maybe we just had the wrong pattern on. 
We were throwing a green drake, a royal wolf, and a mosquito pattern. Not a twitch on any of them. Brad might have had a few strikes on a bionic ant, but I can't really remember. The next morning and my last day in Idaho, we took the boats through Box Canyon, a beautiful stretch of river with some big birds and colorful cliffs. It was another day of high wind, and this one was paired with some low temps as well. Because of the wind, it was pretty difficult to keep the boats near each other, so all of my footage was shot on a long telephoto lens. That plus the rocking of the boat pretty much made it so all of my footage was shaky and unusable. I had to do a stupid amount of stabilization in post to even make it watchable. Hatch has, has a beef with all white water. So she'll hang over the edge of the boat, look down, and there's a little little ripple in the water, gets down there, grabs it with her teeth. She's good, she knows where she can't go in the water. She knows that, right? If she's like, okay, hey, mom and dad are casting that way, that's my off limit zone. I'm not ruining fishing for them. I can't ruin this hole. So she'll go down below us where we've already fished, and she's finding sticks in the water. Flushes birds. Flushing birds wherever she can find them. When she was a young puppy, she kept, she was like, holy cow, what's that splashing in the water? She'd go out, try to check it out, right? And, and pretty quickly she found out that my dad gets mad if you, if you get tangled in my line and I lose a fish. From here I was headed to Montana to float the Madison. Unfortunately that footage has been lost and we'll never see the light of day. So instead the next tales from the craft will be with the king himself, George Daniel, and I get to learn just how little I know about the world of fly fishing. <laughs>